Just four games left in the regular season for Robert Morris men's hockey. Uh, talking with head coach Derek Schooley. With these four games left, three of them come at home. Is is that just a, kind of a nice, comfortable advantage to have that, that home ice for those three of those four games? Well, you would think so. We'd been playing really well at home until last week against our IT when our two games at, at home didn't go so well. We've always played well historically in our building. We've always played well here this year. So we just have to take like uh, we've been talking about as a team last weekend and just flush it, get it out of our system, put it in our rear view mirror and, and focus on our three home games and our one game at Mercyhurst. Joining me now, senior forward and Hobie Baker Award candidate, Brady Ferguson. I want to talk to you a little bit about this Atlantic hockey race because it is really tight right now. Four points out of first, six points out of last. That's how tight the, the whole standings are for 11 teams. But how has that been this year? Maybe just a little bit different playing different teams because, you know, anybody can win. Yeah, I think uh, this year the league has been pretty tight uh, since the beginning of the season. Um, I think any team can come in first and I think teams can uh, catch up and come in third or fourth and get a home ice advantage in playoffs. Talking about Mercyhurst, uh, a team that scores a lot of goals, but Colonials did the same thing against them back in December. 8-4-1 and one since that series, uh, including the sweep at, uh, with the home and home at Mercyhurst. What can you take from those games that kind of propelled the team, continue to move this team forward, that you can reapply to getting back in the win column this weekend? Well, we've got a lot of confidence, and uh, even though last week didn't go the way that we wanted it, it's not going to define our team. Our, our team's uh, mentally strong. We have like a lot of older guys. Mercyhurst is a good hockey team. They've got some very good forwards, Derek Barash, Riley, uh, Charbonneau. Uh, Les Lancaster has been an all-league defenseman. De uh, Wild Dung has been very good in goal form. So they've got a, a very talented hockey team, and uh, their defenseman, uh, Duzek's done very well for them uh, this year, too. So Rick Gottkin always has them ready to play. They're well coached. They're, they're, uh, they're, they're going to be a challenge, but uh, we're up for that, and we're excited to play. Important for you guys to take care of business starting this weekend, home and home with Mercy Harris. Last road game of the regular season, at least, with four games left. Uh, do you like these home and homes? How different is it to just kind of turn around for one day of travel? Yeah, I mean, uh, in juniors, I never really played home and home, so I bet I think I've gotten used to them in college. Uh, but these next four games are really important to us. Uh, I think we need to come away with as many, as many points as we can because um, that'll place us in either the top four where we get a home ice advantage and a week off. I think five gets a week off, but they don't get home ice advantage. So I think our goal is to come in the top four. With you know a lot of points on the line, Mercyhurst has been a team that's been very hot as of late. Um, for RMU, 8-4-1 since you know the sweep at Mercyhurst this whole second half of the season, but they're as hot as anybody in college hockey right now. Do you like those games where kind of both teams come in very hungry, you know every point matters at the end of the year? Yeah, uh, they've been playing really good hockey, uh, but so have, so have we. I think this past weekend didn't uh, show how we've been playing lately. Uh, I think we struggled in some areas, but uh, I, think, I think the guys are excited uh, to play against uh, in state rivals against uh, Mercers. Uh, yeah, this has been kind of a physical back and forth series. I think you guys really kind of enjoy getting after each other in this one. Would you say that's fair? Yeah, yeah. They, I mean, they're a good team, um, and we put we played them the past couple of years uh, pretty tight, a couple of overtime games. Um, so I think it'll be exciting games. The guy that was really good against Mercyhurst last time out was Brady Ferguson. Seven points, he had two goals and five assists in that series. Uh, just a point last weekend, but I think it was a weekend where everybody struggled. Do you think he comes alive again against uh, Mercyhurst this weekend? Well, I, I mean, we're going to, like I said, you can't look at last weekend and, and read too much into it. We all struggled. We didn't have a great weekend, and, and uh, we know that the, we control our own destiny. We control our own fate. As far as uh, four games remaining, we're in uh, right now. We've got a first-round bye at home, and uh, we take advantage of our uh, – our games and our home games and we'll be playing our our second round here if we don't we might uh, be playing our first round here if we really don't have a great game we might be playing uh, first round on the road so it's so tight everything's so up in the air but we control our own destiny seven points the last time out against mercy Hurst for brady ferguson two goals five assists we'll see if we see any more of that this weekend you're one point away from having the all-time scoring record here at rmu all to yourself is that something that you know, you probably didn't think about as, as a freshman that being a thing that you might come away with because that mark hadn't even been set quite yet. But uh, just now seeing that opportunity here as your senior season kind of winds down, what's that mean to you? 
Uh, yeah, I, I had no idea that this would happen uh, before I came here. Um, but I think, I think it's pretty awesome. But then again, I don't really I don't care about that. I'd rather, I'd rather win Atlanta hockey and get a nice ring. Uh, but it's nice. Uh, well, we'll see how things shape up this weekend. 156 career points, first in the NCAA among all active scorers. See if you can add to that this weekend against Mercyhurst. Friday night, puck drop 7.05 here at the RMU Island Sports Center before the weekend wraps up on the road at Mercyhurst.